Hey, what's going on? This is Darren Tincher. Um, I'm wanting to start coming to you guys with some of these lessons. Uh, and this one is going to be one of the first lessons I ever taught. It's, do you have to be baptized in water and the Holy Spirit to get to heaven? Read some scriptures. John chapter 3, verse 1 through 7. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. So Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He did not understand what water baptism was. He did not understand what the Holy Spirit was. But what he would have understood is these scriptures in the Old Testament. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 24 through 28. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries, and I'll bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you the heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I give to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. <clears throat> This is speaking about how God will cleanse your sins away with water and give you a new spirit. This is what the Pharisees would have understood. Romans chapter 6, verse 3 says, Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. The act of water immersion or water baptism signifies the death of the old flesh and the resurrection of a new creature in Christ. So is water baptism necessary to get to heaven? 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 13. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you, but, Crip but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name, and I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Even Paul said, I'm glad that I baptized none of you. And he went on to say, Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, preach the cross, and to preach the power of Christ. That is what saves. John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, For by grace... You are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. If baptism were a requirement to be saved, then why wouldn't it be included in these scriptures? And finally, Luke chapter 23, verse 42 and 43. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into my kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with, be with me in paradise. As a thief hung on a cross next to Jesus, he said, Remember me. And Jesus replied with, Today you will be with me in paradise. Water baptism wasn't an option for that thief. But all he had to do was believe. 
and that he would be saved. So in this lesson, we learned that water baptism is a symbolism. It, it, it symbolizes the laying down of the old flesh and the picking up of a new creature. But is it completely necessary to make it to heaven? I don't believe so. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.